a lot of us has roots in the village or in the village in traditional music. It was one of the most important moments like, to come across live traditional music being performed by elder musicians who remembered how this used to be done in the villages. And that's how we became friends, by going to them on and on. And that's why we are such a big uh, group. Hey everybody, uh, nice to be uh, back in Lisbon. Nice to be at Womex, an amazing festival. Huge shout out to, uh, to Womex for making this happen and all of the uh, organizations that help support it. And Sama, Seattle Sake of Music and Art. Huge shout out to my amazing crew here. Crew, you're fabulous. We have from uh, Poland, Polska, my country of birth. Thank you, Chłopy.
rozedrgane, rozedrgane Prawdopodobnie nie ustanę, nie ustanę, nie ustanę Doktorze osa, suń binokle z nosa I w igłę, bo za sobą nie nadążam brak mi Wirują mi na cztery świata strony Głowa się chwieje, oszaleje Pewnie już jestem szalony Doktor pijawko Prędko ze strzykawką Pobieranie i badanie Na żądanie zrób mi Wciąż nowe słowa nadlatują jak komary Formują wersy, łączą w szyki I rymują się do pary Doktorze Melo Tylko szlaban na muzykę Okłady z lodu, noc w przeręblu I bardzo zimne prysznice Doktorze, kura! Kalasz pazurę Zrobnij szybko skierowanie Nim gorączka sprawi mnie Sam nie wiem do który, a jadę do dziewczyny, sam nie wiem do który. A koniki, kasztanki połamały sanki, a na czym ja pojadę do swojej kochanki?
A ty moja Marysiu, moje złote serce, moje złote serce, jak jo ciebie nie widzę, robić my się nie chce. Jak jo ciebie nie widzę, robić my się nie chce. Jak jo ciebie ujrzę na godzinę z rana, na godzinę z rana, Ej, robimy się, robi robotecka sama. Ej, robimy się, robi robotecka sama. That was beautiful. Thanks very much. Thank you. All y'all are create really beautiful music. Um, Mihao, you and I go back a bit. We worked at the Awe Festival. Um, at KXP, we had um, Warsaw Village Band years and years ago. And it was the first time that this type of Polish traditional music went on tour. Outside of communist times when it was like, this is Poland. And you know a part of the, the revolution. When did this music become important again to the point where a whole new generation decided to take it on and claim it as their own? I guess it was, it was the 90s. Actually, we started a bit later, but uh, the beginning of the 90s was the start that this young generation group went back to the, uh, to the villages. And us and our group, especially because of uh, a person of Andrzej Binkowski, the painter, the ethnographer that showed us some films, gave us the addresses and telephone numbers to the 
right person where to go in the villages. Okay. Was it like a connection? Because this is a bit of a complicated story, but after I was living in the United States at the time, I grew up in Gdansk, there was the, as I was saying before, there was this big push by the communist government. This is what Poland is as a counter to the, to the Western um, corruption that was going on. I'm being really simplistic and I apologize for that. And um, I remembered we were at the Off Festival in Katowice and it was an interesting time where all of these bands from the late 80s, early 80s, that were like emulating the Smiths, the Cure, they were like, they didn't care about this music at all. They wanted to be of the West and approach that. They were playing and it felt a little shallow, like they weren't Polish, they were emulating some another culture. And then when the Warsaw Village band came through, they were like, this is our roots, this is who we are, and we want to connect with that, we want to reclaim that. And was that how it kind of came about? Did the band feel like there was a, like a, a close connection to this thing and they wanted to claim it? Does that make sense? It does a little bit, but for yeah. us, uh, I guess it was really natural for us, actually, this music. That uh, Why? Because it's just beautiful, you know? Okay. But this you live in the cities. You like... Uh, we live in the cities, but uh, a lot of us has uh, mm, roots in the village or in the village in traditional music. My grandfather was a village musician, okay. for example. But uh, maybe some... Yeah. Anybody else have comments on this? Each of us has a different story, mm -hmm. his or her own story of how he or she got into this music. I think for all of us, I guess it's true that at a certain point we came across this music and elder musicians uh, and we said that this is, this is what we want to do. I mean, uh, I think for all of us it was it was one of the most important moments like to come across live music, uh, live traditional music being performed by elder musicians who remembered how this used to be done in the villages back in the, let's say, 50s. And I think for all of us, this was the moment that uh, somehow showed us the, okay. the way and at a certain point came across each other at different occasions and started to do things together, for instance, um, a summer school of traditional music from, from a particular region where this music come from. Which is where? Which is near Kielce, okay. so central Poland, more or less, mm -hmm. where we found beautiful people, great musicians, especially Stanisław Witkowski, who was one of our masters, the mentor, and most of our repertoire come from here, okay. from, from him. Beautiful. Inusha. Yeah, just, uh, hi, wanted to add that Actually, ones who gathered us together were the old masters that we had a special relation with. And that's how we became friends, by going to them on and on. And that's why we are such a big uh, group. It's not easy, it's not practical to have mm -hmm. such a big group, big band. But these are all the people the, the friends that gathered traveling to certain musicians, certain masters. Is there a like an urgency right now? Because, you know, these old masters, mentors, they're getting old. So is there an effort to find them and record their repertoire and spend time with them before they move on? I mean, unfortunately, it's quite late. Uh, because most of our masters are gone already, so we have to use the recording and so on, but we had this privilege to meet them, and there are some, still some people who are very strong persons that know the repertoire, remember the old ways, but uh, actually, I mean, it's not a very happy situation, but it's uh, quite late already. Okay. Most of people that knew the old music are gone. Okay. Thanks to people like Andrzej Binkowski or, uh, or uh, the radio recordings and so on, we can still uh, learn f from them, mm -hmm. kind of. But f for sure, for all of us, uh, it was most important to meet the people, just the specific Just have that connection. People. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so let's do one quick thing. Can we do introduce the band Michał again? Maniucha Bikont, singing and playing tuba. Eva Grochowska, singing and playing violin, fiddle so-called, in the village way. Uh, Dorota Murzynowska playing baraban drum. 
Maciej Filipczuk playing fiddle, Marcin Żytomirski playing fiddle, e, Michał Maziarz playing tenor horn, Mateusz Kowalski accordion and singing as well, Szczepan Pospieszalski trumpet and myself on clarinet and saxophone. Michał, tak. Thank you. Is this continuing? Is the next generation interested in this? Because you guys are all in your 30s, etc., 20s? Sure. Absolutely. Is the next generation in Poland interested in this? And does it feel like it's going to continue? Of course it is. There are some people who say that uh, if you wasn't born in a village, so you are not continuator. It's some discussion about it. But uh, this is not about to be born or not but to love this music and to trying to understand because it's not uh, such easy to to enter this this musical world and it's also important to say that it's a process it's not like you wake up someday and it wasn't uh, like this with us like we woke up and okay so i will play village music or i will go to the master it's like really step by step slowly there were like uh, my colleagues said uh, some people who invited us who showed us in details what what we can do with this music what we can do with these people you're on an interesting journey i'm super curious to see how this will continue and move on good job Miha. well done and thanks to them thank you what does the name mean Chłop is a mazurek that's how they call mazurki near Kielce, like from the region where, where we play. And really this kind of melodies like chłopy and śpiwy are only there, like with this flow. So we want to just keep on playing the music only from that region. It's very unique. Yes, but uh, not so many people in Poland know that chłopy means uh, kind of traditional tune. But everybody uh, knows that Chłopy is a farmer or man, peasants and uh, men, what is more important. So when we go to play a concert, usually the uh, first uh, uh, comment is, you are called Tenge Chłopy, but uh, there are some, some women with you, why? And uh, that's always uh, where we begin our story about it, the Kielce it. music. Got it. So you're confusing people just to get them off guard and then then you present this beautiful music that's smart very smart you always under promise and then, then they have no chances and they have no chance they're done we're all dancing it was beautiful work thank you <laughs> 